What is going on everybody? Borna aka Hog here and week one of the National Football League season is finally here. What that means is Chargers versus Washington football team week one preview right here right now on the hog watch everybody if you're new to the channel my name is Borna aka hog we cover the Chargers the Lakers the Padres and UCLA sports quite in depth if you're a fan of one of those teams all I ask is hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on those post bell notifications join the discord and follow me on twitter at hog Borna the Chargers open up as one point favorites against Washington essentially a pick them so what in this video we're going to talk about the keys to victory what has washington done to improve their roster what have we done and what essentially the keys are to the game so let's get right into it the first thing that we're going to look at this game is going to be won in the trenches just like most national football league games but it's nothing new washington has a stout stout front four and that's where their defense begins with of course we know on the edges there's chase young and montez sweat but people have to remember inside of those trenches their tackles are big guys who do big time things for them and led by Jack Del Rio and Ron Rivera who are two big time defensive minded coaches Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne are no forces to be reckoned with this is going to be a huge huge test for a revamped offensive line whether it's Rayshon Slater Matt Filer Corey Lindsley Odai Abushi and Brian Balaga whom we are all going to talk about in this video but that is the number one thing my fellow hogs that we will be looking at in this game again it's these guys for Washington it's Chase Young, it's Montez Sweat, it's Deron Payne. It starts with their front four. We all saw Justin Herbert's ability to do well last year under pressure. But have we seen it when this guy has time? What if you give Justin Herbert time in the pocket? We shall see. But if this front four dominates our offensive line, it is going to be a long day. Week one on the road, roaring crowd in Washington, guys. We have to remember last year there was no crowds. Justin Herbert has not been exposed to crowd noise away. So I'm telling you, you guys may think that's not something that's very important. Oh, baby, it's important. Let's flip to the other side of the ball now. We all know about Terry McLaurin, and he's a 1,000-plus yard receiver. Logan Thomas, his ability to streak the field. But the Washington football team added a sneaky, really good target in Curtis Samuel for Ryan Fitzpatrick. Curtis Samuel's coming off a year where he had over 850 receiving yards. And he was receiving passes from Teddy Bridgewater, which is anything but special. Curtis Samuel provides them a threat in the slot position. He provides them another threat in the deep ball. This is going to be a big test for rookie corner Asante Samuel Jr. Michael Davis, whom we extended for three years. And of course, aging veteran who is on the wrong side of 30, Chris Harris Jr., who I have some questions to mark, question marks excuse me, about this season. So that is going to be a very, very interesting thing. We're going to notice what we do. Terry McLaurin cannot be double covered anymore. We're going to see what happens in man-to-man -man coverage with some of our cornerbacks. I want to quickly go back to the defense of Washington, though, because everyone talks about their front four, but people don't realize that their secondary was extremely underrated last year. I mean, they were third and second in terms of, you know, allowing yards per game. So it's going to be very, very, very interesting that people don't really talk about their secondary, whether it's Fuller or other names that actually were really 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 and i say really really good but i know my chargers fans you guys don't want me to only talk about washington of course we have to talk about our team and the key to the game as i've been saying it is the offensive line slater's gonna be ready to play filer's gonna be ready to play lindsley he has the question mark questionable sign he will be ready to play abushi will be ready to play the only real question mark for sunday is brian balaga he's dealing with the hip flexor problem as well as a groin problem per head coach brandon staley as he spoke to the media yesterday brian balaga has been subject to durability issues since signing that three or 30 million dollar contract the former first round pick of the packers in 2010 what kind of brian balaga will we see this year will it be balaga on the field or balaga off the field and if balaga's off the field storm norton will be that guy who comes in and oh baby storm norton's better than trey pipkins but my goodness we really hope that balaga can stay healthy because my goodness if he is not it's going to be a long day for this offensive line they need to stay durable for this team to not only have success against washington but to just have success throughout the year now on the defensive side of the ball it's very important that we talk about kenneth murray jr listen we heard enough slander saying that the chargers should have taken patrick queen from lsu he had a stellar year for the ravens 
the fact Kenneth Murray had a pretty solid close to last year, it's going to be very key to see how he can do in coverage this year. He may see a lot of Logan Thomas, even though that also may be Derwin James. I think Kenneth Murray is a key to this game. His ability to stop the run, especially when they send him on blitzes, his ability to get to Ryan Fitzpatrick. I just want to see my linebacker, my guy who anchors the defense everywhere on the field. I want to hear his name a lot. As simple as that sounds, if I don't hear the names Kenneth Murray Jr. or Uchenna Nuosu a lot, which I didn't a ton in the preseason, that means something's not right. I'm expecting big things, big things from Kenneth Murray Jr. Now, I think we briefly touched on this earlier, and this is very, very important. And this picture does not include Michael Davis. Our secondary is going to be tested, guys. We all know Ryan Fitzpatrick likes to sling the ball, but whether it's Logan Thomas as a target, Terry McLaurin, or Curtis Samuel, my biggest concern with Chris Harris Jr. is his ability to keep up with speedy, young wideouts. We all know he's pretty good in coverage, but you know, those 31, 32-year-old legs, it's going to be tough running against guys who can run 4-4s, even some 4-3s. Terry McLaurin's got wheels. Curtis Samuel's got wheels. They may put him in the slot. They may do some bubble screens for him. Whatever it is, it's going to be important. The one thing I noticed with Samuel Jr. is what? Washington likes to run bubble screens for guys like McLaurin, for Curtis Samuel. Samuel Jr.'s biggest weakness coming out of Florida State was shedding blocks from wide receivers. They may put him in the test dungeon very early. Just because he has swag, just because he has confidence, doesn't mean that Ron Rivera and Washington's going to come immediately after him. And I hate to end the video on this. But I'm going to talk about it one more time, guys. The key to this game, the key to this season, is the offensive line. Belaga's a question mark I'm not getting my hopes up. Can Corey Lindsley be worth every penny that we paid him? Can Matt Filer fill in that, fill in that big time void? Can Abushi, who we got from the Lions, be the man? And will Rayshon Slater live up to the expectations as he's going to see Chase Young round three this time on Sunday? It's going to be an absolute dogfight. But that's my quick preview for week one, guys. I just want to update you and where we're going in the direction in terms of Chargers content on this channel. We will be having pregame and postgame live streams every Sunday at 9 a.m. before the game if it's an early kickoff and whatnot and the postgame show. We're also going to have midweek live stream practice reports, injury reports. There's going to be a ton of content about the charges if you want to get all your information at one place this is the one-stop shop for all of your chargers content all i ask is join the discord to get even more news relevant to this team follow me on twitter if you want to hear what hog has to talk about subscribe to the channel and bolt up baby let's get this w